Oh! It's not like some just killed me on the steps. That was a man's voice. Hello? Who's the man that I just heard? Oh no! What? That was loud. You wanna say bye to me and Josh? just got to Ashmore Estates. Believe it or not, we have not been back here in 12 years. Yeah, it's been 12 years since we've been here. This is probably one of the most haunted locations we've ever been to. We've got a lot of history with this place. It was a day after we investigated here. A tornado hit and they had straight line winds come and rip the roof off. 1916 structure really did not shift at all didn't get in any damage. They actually built the building to be tornado proof. Over the weekend, Ashmore Estate's family of haunters came out to help pick up the pieces. It definitely looks a lot different than when we were here the first time after the storms hit. You think about being back here. It's crazy. 12 years later, I am nervous. Got him out. We know your clothes caught on fire. Are you knocking on something in here? Stop. What? I swear I just seen something standing there. Let's keep going. Are you in here? Where do you want this baby at? If you want the baby, make a loud noise for me right now. I'll leave this baby here for you if you do something big for us. Could you knock on something for me right now, please? It's okay, we're not gonna hurt you. Is somebody holding you back? I felt like this wood right next to me just moved. What wood? The wood right here. Whatever this is moved. What the hell is that? Did you just touch this wall? Mm. Is that you? Huh? Mm. Is that you? Huh? Mm. Is that you? Huh? Could you say something to us? You hear that? Mm -hmm. You hear that? Yeah. Here it is. Did you see that? What? The freaking eyes just closed. Uh-uh. I swear. Josh. Who's back there? Josh, get up here now. What's in there? Josh, can you hear me? Get your ass up there. Rocky, it's back there. Is something just moved in here? Yeah, I heard it back well, here. Well, I heard it back here too. It's walking. Who's back there? Show yourself. Is that you back there? Sean, walk back here. It's yeah. walking. You're freaking nuts. Just go back here. I don't care what the hell's back here. Get back here. No. Come on. Let's go. Just f***ing said something. Who's back here? Sean, what's behind us? What's that? Did you hear that? Back 
Show him. It's down there. Alright, let's go to break with Josh. <laughs> no, let's go down there. No. Come on. It's all freaking mazes. You're freaking nuts. I'm telling you, me and Josh. It's down there. down there. I'm telling you, it's down there. I know it is. Who's down here? So right now we're sitting here pitch black. We kept hearing uh, voices down here. Tonight, Sean and I are spending the night at Ashmore Estates. This is probably one of the most active locations we've ever been to. The night before the storms hit this area, and it literally took off the roof and did a lot of other damage to the building. As you can see, it's still daylight, so we're waiting for the sun to go down. So this is what Ashmore looked like when we came. And then this is what Ashmore looked like the next morning when we left. Fortunately, we left about three hours before the storms hit. We knew that there were heavy storms coming through here. And anybody that lives in the Midwest, you know that time of the year, you get tornadoes and stuff. So the third floor and the basement were two areas that were like extremely active for us. This is the famous bell here at Ashmore. Sometimes you may hear that bell ring throughout the night. Anybody that's ever been to Ashmore States, it gets dark out, this place is like legit, super creepy. Now these are all the graves that are on the property. I think there was what, 80 some people maybe that died here that they know of, like right here. Hey, Sean, come. This area right here, it feels like when you walk through here, Walk through this area right here. I won't say it. Walk down that hallway and tell me what you experience. Yep, yeah, cold spot. And there's no open one. Right there. That was like a whiff of, that's like the third time. Yeah, that's the third time something's touched my arms. It's getting dark in here. I think it was right by that chair. Let's see if we get a spike. Oh, look at that. It jumped, look at that. Okay, I do want to find Sean because I know he wasn't feeling good earlier, so. I swear he was right behind me when I went into that freaking building. But there's only one way in and one way out, so. Okay, he's not in there. Sean. What's wrong, you just feel sick? Yeah. Well, I can go in there and investigate myself for a while. I just need to build up a little bit of strength. Put, then I'll push myself, and I will go in. Okay, All if right. you need me, call me. You can show me shut this off. Okay, might be investigating alone tonight. We'll see how this goes. Okay, we are locked. Hello? My name is Josh. I came here tonight to do some research on your building. I feel like you're in this area. John? 
Can you come out and talk to me, please? I hear somebody walking. Tell you, when it gets pitch dark in here, this place is going to be so creepy by myself. This right here is the area when we were doing the walkthrough. Back there where the camera's at, it felt like I walked through spider webs. Did you live here at the poor farm? They said over 80 people died here. You know, the strange thing is you literally feel like people are just like watching you. This room in here feels like super creepy. This is like the darkest room in here. Okay, I set my alarm right there. Right there. Cobweb right across my freaking face. Was that you? Did you just touch me? I'm in here all by myself. <gasps> Heard a knock and the alarm's going off. Are you the one that touched me? Walk away from that. Are you trying to figure out who I am? Did you work here at Ashmore Estates? So cold right here. I know you're in here with me. No f way. Holy f Hold on. That was so f loud. That was a man's voice. Hello? Who's the man that I just heard? Dude, that was a voice, like plain as day. I don't know what it said. I'm gonna have to go back and listen to the audio. Holy shit, that scared the crap out of me. If that was you that I just heard, come back over here and set my alarm off, please. No freaking way. This room is so freaking cold. Okay, move away from it. Loud bang. The man that I heard. Can you talk again, please? Do you not like having people come inside your building to talk to you? I'm sure a lot of people piss you off. Can you hit that again? Can I hear you again? Are you the man that I heard earlier? If you're the man, walk away from that alarm. Are you a woman? Right now I'm down here in the basement by myself. This was like the creepiest area. I just, I just kept getting drawn to this area. I do have people watching live right now.
Can you walk in here, please? This area back here is like super cold. It's so dark in here, you can't see anything. What was this room used for? If I'm aggravating you, give me a sign somehow. It's like you hear something like walking and like a dragging sound. John, they said that you were the more aggressive spirit down here, that you get aggravated with people that come in here to investigate. Show me what you can do. I don't know what the hell that noise is. I don't think I'm alone down here. Now there's another area in the basement where he worked at, where people have been affected. I want to go down there, but I'm by myself. So if something happens, I literally have no way of getting hold of anybody. Yeah, this basement's like so freaking crazy. That freaking light gets me every time. Oh, alarm. So this is the area of the basement that people have been affected the most. Hello? Was that you? I know you don't like having people down here. Did you work down here? I brought my alarm down here. If you were the one upstairs with me, can you come down here and set my alarm off, please? This is the one area that a lot of paranormal teams report activity. We know that you work down here in the boiler room. You took a lot of pride in your work. Keeping everybody warm. Do you miss your job? It's getting dark outside. Although they did say that women are mostly affected in the basement. Maybe he doesn't like men. Oh, alarm's going off. Was that you? You just set my alarm off. If you get closer to it, it'll beep. Now I know that you're down here. The lights on the alarm flashed. Heard knocking behind me and the alarm went off. Sometimes you just have to be like really patient with spirits. It's easy to ask them to do something and just expect that they're going to do it. And you got to think some of these people are, you know, back in the early 1900s, late, teen, late 1800s. But I feel like they've had enough groups through here and people through here. They're probably familiar with everything. Let's move up to the second floor where they get a lot of the activity with the kids and stuff. Definitely walking. If you're walking, can you come in this room with me, please? Are you in this room right now?
you're hearing like the walking, knocking, and the alarms going off. And especially when you're investigating a big location like this, if you're in an area and it feels fine, just move on to an area that feels uncomfortable, like walking. And then there was one point I thought I heard a kid's voice. You got a lot of toys in here. I'll blow bubbles for you. These bubbles kind of suck. I don't like your bubbles. I'm going to leave your room and I'm going to move out to the hallway. Who did I hear out here walking? Where are you at right now? Is there anybody in here with me? Where am I at right now? Do you know the name of this building? Do you remember my name? Oh, and that's one of the things they said they heard here was a rough male voice. Were you the one that was in the basement with me? Where are you at right now? I'm in here by myself. I want you to come in here with me. Where is Sean? I don't know what it said. Can you see Sean? I can. Why are you still inside this building? It's not like I said it they feel good. Was this your home? It was. They said a little girl died from setting her dress on fire. Is she in this building? I feel like the cold spot right here. I don't know if they said behind you or if that's just... Are you right here by me? Right here behind me is where I was getting that cold spot earlier. We know that this was the patient rooms. Which room was yours? Hello? <gasps> wow. I can hear you.
What did you move? Can you move that again? I've got a camera at the other end of the hallway too. Can you hit that again, please? Right there. I heard a man breathing. I want to speak to you. Can you move that again for me, please? I know these rooms back here were all like patient rooms. Oh, alarm's going off. Can you do that louder for me, please? This is so freaking weird. It's like they're doing stuff. Alarm and knocking. Whoa. Oh my God. Dude, that had to come from down here. Oh, this is the area too. This is the freaking area. No way. Can you hit that again for me? It is so freaking cold right here. Oh, alarm. It is so freaking dark. I'll show you guys. That's how dark it is in here. Are you banging down here? It did sound like a chair or something like scooted across the floor. You can definitely tell it's coming from inside the building. Can you hit that again for me, please? Okay, let's go back up to the second floor. I've got to um, switch out batteries. Lord, I hope I brought batteries up here with me. Man, that freaking alarm is going off like freaking crazy. Were you moving a chair? Can you hit that really hard for me, please? Okay, we're gonna go up to the third floor. I remember the last time we were here, I mean, it was 12 years ago. I remember the third floor was like crazy. I hear alarms. Okay, so right now I'm up on the third floor. So far tonight, a lot of banging, footsteps, one very distinctive male voice. Alarm has been going off like crazy. The sun is just now setting. So I imagine when this place gets pitch dark, it's gonna be super crazy. Hopefully Sean is feeling better and he can come back in here. So these rooms, like all the little tricycles are like crazy creepy. Are you up on this floor? Oh, this room's creepy. Let's sit in here. I 
think what I'll do is if Sean's feeling better, we'll set up the Estes method down in that area we were at first in the basement. And see, that kind of helps validate things, I think, because you hit one area, the alarms are going off, banging, walking, voices, and then you come to another hallway or another floor, and it's like dead quiet. But I just want to make sure that I hit each part of the building. Oh, we were going to get batteries. That's right. Batteries. See, this floor doesn't feel as creepy. That light is safety for people going up and down the steps, so... Yeah, the basement's definitely freaking creepy. I think we should definitely go back to that room. Should go check on Sean and make sure he's still alive. Let's do that. Let's leave a camera. So we got cameras up on the second floor. We got cameras down here in the basement. So we'll leave the cameras run for a little bit. How are you feeling? You're still not feeling good? Okay, well, I'll let you sleep and I'll just go hit this one. Okay, we got Ghost Tube running now. It appears that going to be solo all night tonight. Area where you're getting stuff first. Throat. Throat. Touch. Touch. Did you touch me? Sleeping. Well, this thing's going off like crazy. I don't know what I do with my light. Are you still down here with me? You were talking earlier. What is your name? Down there. <gasps> down there. Where's down there at? Can you hit something for me? Invisible. Well, no, I can't see you. Shine. Shine. Did you work here at Ashmore Estates? Sound like something dragging. Was that you? Were you a patient here? It's like completely dark outside right now. And just as I figured this place was gonna get like crazy creepy. Who's walking? You can hear. If you're the one I hear walking, Where are we? we're at Ashmore Estates in the basement right now. I know that you've touched people, you've hurt people. Died. Died. Where did you die at? I want to know your name. It is the year 2023. What's the last year that you remember? You hit something really hard for me. I'll know where to come to. Just one loud bang, that's all this I need. This is my place. Oh. It's my place tonight too. Are you getting aggravated with me being here? Your place is with your loved ones. Do you miss them? You can't understand. I do understand. Do you understand? Do you understand why I'm here?
Who do I keep hearing? Why? Because I want to know who I'm hearing. Speak. If you come back in this room with me, I think I'm going to be here with you by myself tonight. It's going to be just me and you in here. Come over here. Okay, words over here. Car. Oh, Sean's in the car. Do you see Sean? Field. Oh, that's where they, a lot of the bodies were buried out in the fields out here. Is your body buried out in the field? Behind you. Oh, and a knock. What the hell was that? What is your name? I told you my name. So the basement at Ashmore States is probably the creepiest basement. I think because it's so big. You stop talking to me. Dude, I keep hearing. Give it back. I didn't take anything. You give it back. See what makes this extra creepy? Did you see those freaking windows over there? It's like you feel like something is, uh... Respect. Play. Can you show yourself in one of these windows? People say that they see shadow figures. You show yourself. Where did you go? Now, you're stuck with me all night. Looks like it's going to be just you and me. Why do you choose to stay here and not move on? How long have you been here? Is this place special to you? I want to see you. What is the last thing you remember? Did somebody hurt you here? Tomorrow is Father's Day. Any of you dads in here? And you know, that's one thing they said too, is that this building will be like supercharged for like 10, 15 minutes, and then it'll go dead quiet. I think what I'm gonna do is replace all my batteries. The bad thing is I got equipment spread all over this building. So at some point tonight, I'm going to have to go back through and try to find all my equipment. I swear I just heard a man's voice. Can you tell me what your name is? Knocking. Oh, you want to talk about creepy? Now I'm in this whole building by myself right now. Do you want me to come upstairs? Walking in the hallway. <gasps> Are you out there walking?
Would you even want touch him, Josh? I keep hearing stuff out there. My camera just shut off, too. Josh just changed the battery. Okay, I heard you. Holy crap, that is a creepy painting. Okay, I'm gonna go upstairs. Uh, if I remember how to get upstairs. Oh! Sounded like something just came, like walked on the steps. Okay, I got alarms set up everywhere. Are the twins up here? I got alarms everywhere. Can you set one off? I think he was following me. What's your name? Joe, are you here? Knocking. Are you in this room beside me? I need you to come out here. It's getting louder. What the heck is that? It almost sounds like there's running in water. Is somebody taking a bath? In the bathroom, where there's still a, a tub in there, it's right there in that room. What'd you do when Josh was in here? Can you knock on something or hit something really loud? It's so freaking dark in here. Crazy thing is, something could jump out of any one of these rooms and I am not going to see it. What about the piano? Okay, this is so creepy. Oh no! What? That was loud. I just heard you. Okay, maybe we should stay in this room. Holy crap. Right now I'm gonna do a sweep, but I just heard a little really loud bang, so I'm gonna leave the camera set here. Okay, I got a device here. You can talk to me. I keep hearing people. Was one of these your room? Don't leave. Oh, I'm not leaving. Do you like having us here? I'll stay a little longer if you tell me what your name is. Or if you can say my name. How do you feel? No freaking way. Not really the best, but I'm hanging in there. How do you feel? Can you ring this bell for me? Man, it's so freaking scary in here. Is anybody in this room? Got books. Be quiet. Why? I didn't do anything. Yeah, people come in here all the time. I'm sure you're not mean to them, are you? What the? Why is that light turn on? I'm not that close to it. Cold breeze off to my right. Are you beside me? Oh, shit. Stalker. Come over here. Come over where? 
Where do you want me? Where do you want me? Other side. Other side of the building? Okay, we'll walk down here. You better not. You're not gonna hurt me, are you? Huh? Okay, as far as I go. Can you shut that light off for me? Come on, shut that hallway light off down there. Maybe it's just trying to show me a way out to get out of here. Film. Yeah, I'm filming. Light just went off again. What the hell is going on with that light? Are you playing with that light? Can you turn it back on for me? Turn the light on. Come on. Okay, I'm gonna leave. Okay. Okay, I'll talk to you later. Bye. What's crazy is, I heard, I swear I heard Josh call my name, and he is not in this building. Now I'm hearing giggling. What the heck is going on here? I'm starting to really not feel very safe up here by myself. The thing already told me to come to the other side, so I guess I'm coming to the other side. And then I'm heading down. I don't know what the heck was going on with that other uh, stairwell. Why that light was coming on and off like it was when nobody was by it. But I was getting some really good responses. I just take all that energy on the third floor that I just did. It just took it out of me. So, let's go ahead and call it a night. Okay, it's me and Josh out here. I didn't really want me to leave. Do you want to say bye to me and Josh? <laughs> Shut that light off. Shut it off and we'll leave. And then it told me to... Oh, please shut it off. And then it told me, it goes, go to the other side. Okay, I'm walking away. I'll take that one. Feeling well? Josh, you all right? Said not feeling well. Yeah. Earlier it asked me how I was feeling. 